welcome back and today we're going to be building a bouncy ball um i'm going to be using my phone for this so the angles aren't going to be too good but it's not going to be the worst in the world all right let me just try and find a camera angle all right so i found the camera angle oh there's going to be a video tomorrow about um, can, yeah, you can't see it. Alright, so you can see the little black thing. It's gonna be a little video tomorrow, or maybe a video out in a couple days. Alright, so the first step here is we have to measure glow powder and mix it right, mix it right in the, in the bag of Palmer. Um, so if I go all the way over here, there's multiple lists. You can't see them, but, um, that's what I'm going to be using. Um, and I'm going to make a red one. So, red is right here. This is the Palmer. Um, so I need to three scoops of glow powder, ten gram packets of bouncy ball Palmer. This is ten grams right here. Um, I need water. I need the mixing scoop measure, which I'm pretty sure is this right here. Um, uh, mixing scoop. Yeah. Mix and measure something. Alright, so this is what we're going to use. Then we're going to use this because red. Um, and yeah, alright, so first up we need to get some fillet beaker with water to either half cup or 120 millimeter mark. Um, first you need to measure out glow powder and mix it right in the bag of Palmer. So, I need to find the glow powder, which is this. I'm only going to use a little bit. Measure, all right, so I'm only gonna use, look. See, I'm only gonna use like this much, okay? So, I'm only gonna use sorry. I'm only gonna use like that much. Um so let me open this up. I'm oh, sorry, this is like a weird camera angle for me. And it's the best camera angle I could do. So what the hell? It's like fused together. Um, we're gonna use it, so like, yeah, I'm just gonna rip off the top. Got it, alright. So, now I need to get our little, alright, so look, I'm putting this right here, where it's not gonna fall, and I'm taking, right here, I'm taking my glow powder, Taking the glue powder, right, and I'm just gonna one one of these mix mixing things, and then just put it okay. So measure out glue powder and mix it right in the bag of Palmer. Set aside. All right. So this bag of Palmer, all right, and close it up. I'm gonna set it aside, so it's still gonna be in frame. Just gonna be side, okay? You can still see right here. Um, next up, snap together two bowl forms, which is these. Right? I think these are the bowl forms. So, if I go back to here, glow powder, bouncy creature molds. Bouncy ball mode, yeah, alright, so, yeah, the, these are the correct things. 
snap them together so just go like huh right, so look do I just put them in like this they just snap them in does that work no okay boom all right there so to snap it all in you have to look at this bottom bit right here and you have to align it and snap that in and then you can go from the top and I'm guessing we have to snap it so it blocks that out I'm guessing all right it's fine and then use funnel using funnel pour polymer in There's nothing in there. Where did I just... Huh? Fake snow? Oh. That's weird. There's two, but one of them doesn't have anything. Alright, I'm gonna go grab some water. Be right back. Alright, so I have the beaker of water right there. Um, so... Use funnel, pour Palmer into top, huh? Into the tap, tap it down so the entire bag powder is in the mold. Keep tapping until the powder is packed. Wait, what? Okay, so, yeah, there. I just had to snap the ball together more. All right, so now I need to uh, use the funnel, which should be in the set. Uh, right here, right here. All right, so see this funnel? This is going to go like this. So look, take it out, put it in like this. And then using the funnel, just go like this, okay? So just pour it in. So tap all that in, then I'm going to pour some more in just to make sure. And I'm going to pour some more in. This is going to be my first science video too. Alright, so I have to make it so it's completely compact. And all I have to do is like tap right here and it sinks down. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then, look, if I take this off, there's like, so if I take that off, look, you can see like, right, right, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's areas around it, and it's not completely, so I'm just going to dump this entire bag in, okay, see, dump in the entire bag in, some might have fallen out, but that's fine, now I'm just Getting back to tapping. Alright, so this is going to take a bit. Just keep tapping it. I'm going to cut until I get to the whole thing. Alright, so I finally did that. Next is stick mold in beaker of water. So top of the mold lines with the top of the water. So basically the top of this has to line with the top of this water right here um so wait five minutes then remove it from the water and let mold sit for another five minutes all right so basically i have to go like this and it's tight so there i have to let that sit for about five minutes so cut to you once it's done all right so it's done. Um, and now all I have to do is so this beaker right here. So after you take it out, which the water is stuck, or it gets stuck. So now we have this ball, 
it's not done yet. Now it has to wait for five. Now it has to wait for another five minutes. So I think I can do. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna like have it like this for another five minutes, and then this should all be over. Um, and we can show you, and I can show you all the features of this. Um, thing and that way. Oh yeah, sorry if there's like, but all right there. So this way, uh, all we have to do now, I can just show you how it's done. Also, um, zoom out. Yeah, all right. So also, I have this light right here. This light right here. So I have this light. Right. And it's purple. Will it show up? Yeah, like you can see it's purple. So I think No, right, so that doesn't work. Um, but like it the secret ink by so I might do experiments in the future with this light. Um in the comments put down what experiment you want me to do next. I will link it all in the description um and yeah there is approximately three minutes left until this thing's done so while that's on uh, let's go book my mother because why not my phone's pretty good all right Alright, so, see, I have this Nerf gun right here. I just got it today. I'm not trying to show anything that I'm going to use in another episode, but... Alright, so, yeah, we have three minutes left. Buddy, <laughs> you're fine, Lucky. It's a Nerf bullet. Lucky, are you fine? Lucky, 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 Lucky. Are you, are you fine? fine? No, I'm making a video. Are you fine? Yes. You fine? You fine? Can I show your face? Alright. Alright, we're going to leave him alone now. Okay. Definitely gonna leave him alone now. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna leave him alone now. Damn it, that didn't do anything. Alright, sorry for trying again, Marky. Sorry. Um. Alright, so there's one minute left. Less. And then this big boy right there, actually it's really small, is done. Okay. In approximately... One minute less, maybe like a couple seconds. This thing should be done. It should be all done, and we might be able to test it online. Um. So it should be done in a couple of seconds, like five seconds, like a couple of seconds. Um. Yeah, it's all done. Alright, so now, if we look at the rules here, it says, wait five minutes, then remove it from the water and let mold sit for another five minutes. Remove the ball, smooth out the place where the mold joined. Your glow ball will be sticky at first, but boy does it bounce. Alright, so, 
Now we need to remove the ball. Just like this. Oh, that's so sticky. That's so sticky. Alright. Let me get this in frame. Oh, that's hard. Alright, so. Alright, so. Yeah, you can see the ball. It's pretty bouncy. I'm gonna go wash my hand. I know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alright, so now. I'm gonna. Throw it. Alright, so now you see that box right there? Oh, it bounced out of frame. Right? Let's try this again. See that box? See that box right there? Frick, it stuck to my finger. Oh, it. Frick! Alright, so. I think. If I tilt this up more. You should. No. Has to tilt it like this there. So now you can see the ball, right? So it's pretty sticky as you can see, it's sticking to my finger. But it is pretty bouncy. Alright, so this should be in view. So just throw it on the ground and it bounces right up. Throw it on the ground, bounces right off. Throw it on the ground, bounces right up. And you guys can see how it's bouncing out of frame. That is literally because it bounces so damn well. Like this thing is insane. I'm definitely like it's squishy too. Like it's really squishy. I know it's not that squishy, but like you could squish it and it won't break. So now I'm going to try, um, uh, so I'm going to need a plastic bag to store this, but I'm going to turn off my camera, I mean turn off the flashlight, and see how much this goes. Alright, I'm going to shut the door. Alright, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can't see it on camera, but brick. That's bad. Brick. Okay. So you can't see it on camera, but it glows. It's really, really like it glows. All right. So now, right. so basically, this is what it does. Basically, I so just sent the light. It's basically like. See the edge of the ball right there? It's basically like that, but like a bit around the ball. It's not really bright, it's just like glowing. Um, Alright, so that's the end of this video. It's a bit long, sorry. But that's how you make this elastic ball from Glow in the Dark Lab by Smart Lab. That it, this is not a sponsored video. Just telling you how to do it. Thought it'd be a good video idea. And yeah, after a while, it does get less sticky, but the parts that were sticky before, they'll stay, they'll, uh, like, if you get it on your fingers, you'll have to wipe it off. But then after that, it's pretty non-sticky. Um, and as you can see, yeah. Alright, so, see you later, guys. Tomorrow or the next day, I'll have a video out, and peace.